So uh, riots have erupted in Sweden before a far right rally. So this rally was supposed to take place or is still supposed to take place. And they want to burn a Quran in the middle of Ramadan. Some hooligans want to burn a Quran. Let's have a look. So four Swedish police officers and a member of the public were injured by counter protesters demonstrating against a far right group's intention to burn a Quran in Orresbro city in central Sweden. This happened on Friday, yesterday. So police said that four, uh, so police said that four police cars were set on fire, and at least four officers and one private individual were injured as protesters threw stones and large groups attacked police cordons and tore down riot fences. It was the second day running that there had been clashes on the fringes of a rally by the anti-immigration and anti-Islamic far-right Stram Kurs hardline movement led by Danish Swedish Rasmus Paludan. The rally, which had received permission, was disbanded by police to calm the situation down, and later Friday evening, most counter-demonstrators had left the area, according to police. On Thursday, three police officers were taken to hospital after a riot broke out in the city of Linköping on Sweden's east coast, where a demonstration that included a Quran burning was planned. Two people were arrested at, at that demonstration. Far-right leader Paludan has regularly been at the center of incidents in recent years, in November 2020, he was arrested in France and deported. Five other activists were arrested in Belgium shortly thereafter, accused of intending to spread hatred by burning a Quran in Brussels. So I don't know what the point of this is. The Quran is a holy book full, filled with wisdom and and you know and you know scripture. And these people, these you know, they're they're just hooligans. These people are hooligans. They probably drink a lot of alcohol. Probably have tattoos on their faces they've never even read the quran they've never read the quran they've never opened a quran and read a single page i could almost guarantee that and they're going around burning a book that's a holy book that's uh that means everything to billions of people around the world so you know there's less and by the way I, I don't get this like so that some christians don't like muslims or some jews don't like muslims Muslims have never done anything bad against Christians or Jews. You know, if you look at Muslim Spain, right? While Muslims ruled for 800 years, you still had Christians and Jews living there. And by the way, Jews were very prosperous. And when the Muslims were expelled, the Jews went with the Muslims. They went to Morocco, they went to Algeria, they went to the Ottoman Empire, and they prospered once again under Muslim rule. So there is no reason for Jews not to like Muslims. And when it comes to Christians, first of all, uh, the Muslims were very nice to the, to the Christians in Spain when they ruled because the Christians were still there to take the country back. Although I don't know if taking it back is the right term because when the Muslims entered Spain, Spain was not a Christian kingdom. There was a lot of paganism and stuff like that. But anyway, that's a different topic. The point is the Christians were still there. Muslims didn't kick them out of their homes or throw them out of the country just as the Christians had done to the Muslims when they took power in Spain. They expelled all, all the Muslims. They turned all the magnificent and beautiful mosques into churches and that was that they were very vicious and violent they forced people to eat pork and ridiculous things like that so the point is muslims have been very civilized with minorities always and protected them you know so there's no reason for hatred and fear of muslims so with that being said ramadan mubarak all the best like and subscribe thank you very much